In today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, Courtney has a very big announcement to make. It is big. <clears throat> Where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> you can begin wherever you like. We're out hunting through local thrift stores to find items to flip for a profit on eBay. I mean, there are sales upwards of $30. Mm. And $25. I think you can list it between five. Yeah. And we're back in the garage to show you 13 sales that have sold on eBay over the last 24 hours. Um, we got a $70 sale price for those though. Um, if it was really good condition and one series, you could probably get over 100 easy. We've got a huge episode ahead, guys. Enjoy. Guys, I'm going to take you into the thrift straight away. Uh, Need for Speed, most wanted on the PC. This is a brand new and sealed game and there are comps on eBay pre-owned for 80 I'm actually going to do this as a giveaway. I'll explain later in the video how you can win it. Uh, I've also got this as well, Bear Grills on the Discovery Channel. This was only $10 in store. I've gone ahead and picked it up because people are trying to sell it for 80 or 90. They won't get it, but I think I could get 50. There was some clothing as well, some real bread and butter winners. I'm only dabbling in the sports clothing whenever I'm buying my clothing category. Um, these couple of items here should go for about $30. They were all $8 in store, so I figured, you know, 8 into 30, bread and butter winner, good sell through rate in the category. Um, this one I can do a little bit more on. I'm thinking of listing this one up for about $35. $5. The New Zealand Warriors in the NRL are a really highly sought after team. Big supporter base. Gigi Hadid. I've got this one as well for $26. Now there was a comp on eBay best offer of $147 on this jumper. So for that reason alone, I didn't even check sell through rate. I just bought it based on that. Um, so not too bad. We've got a big day ahead. Let's go. First store of the day. Tweed Heads. New South Wales, Courtney. Mm. Let's see what we can do. See now, look at all these good shows. Clown's Daughters, Dawson's Creek. Like, they've got Dawson's Creek here for 20 bucks. And it's season one to six. Is that six seasons, Dawson's? Goes for, yeah, it is six seasons, but the best price is 35. So what can you do? Daria. Daria for eight dollars, two listed. And none sold on barcode. So there's a bit of a lesson in this one, guys. I was a very, very lazy thrifter. I used the UPC, which was the barcode scanner, but when I got home and I started to edit this video, I actually typed it into the search bar and it pulled up 34 sales ranging from 25 all the way up to $40. At an $8 purchase price, I should have bought this. Well, that was a real shame because we've normally struck gold in there, so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. We've got another little store around here, which we, I don't know if I've ever bought, or maybe one or two items out of this store here. Yeah. But we we'll may as well check it while we're here. Yeah. The good news is that in this area, there's about eight stores um, to be able to check out today. So I'm still confident we'll be able to find a bit. The goal today is to try and find at least, at a minimum, $500 worth of value. Yeah. So hopefully we can do it. This is a great one. It's only three dollars. It's the final series of Spooks, Spooks number ten. So if you found all ten seasons of that, that'd be a hundred dollars. Mm. But that could be twenty dollars for somebody trying to complete it. Yeah. Um, so considering we bought nothing today, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. New books, but twenty dollars, I think. Oh, these. Yeah. Okay, the after collection. And then there were all these at 60s. So I think we could probably go 70, 80 on it. Mm. Pre-owns are selling for 60. Yeah. We're doing it. Mm. That's all you. Mm. I didn't see that. Mm. I didn't do any research on that, but it's only worth 15. So it's oh. nothing too crazy. Um, but I think because it's the last season, the sell through rate on it will be not too bad. I didn't check it. Yeah. But at least we've got two items, eh? Our day is underway. So are we gonna tell them now? It's a pretty, pretty big announcement. It is. I think we should wait. I think we should wait till the end of the video. And well, we're, we're gonna have a proper chat about it. Because okay. it's, it's, it's worth its own discussion. Mm -hmm. So stick around guys, because Courtney, Courtney has some very big news. These, these could be okay. There it is there, Metal Militia. Actually does pretty well. 
hang it. Twenty. Not in your liquor? No. I don't understand. I don't get that. That should be eight. I reckon um I reckon we've made this trip what four or five times? Yeah. Over the last well, we used to do it regularly when we were doing your Starting From Scratch series. Yeah, it was but better then. This is by far the worst. Look at how big that depot is. Yeah. It's a huge depot in there with all the stock coming in, but there is nothing on the shelves. And if there is, like shorts for $20? That's tough. There are some mm -hmm. more DVD packs out for that. All right, we'll head out. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Um, thank God you're here. This is one to three, which is good. Um, oh, it looks like season four is the one you want. Mm. There's one to three, it went for 35, mm. 28, 32. Yeah, we'll do it. Mm. It's about 30. Here we go. Box sets up here. So, I've not seen this for a while. Mm. Gavin and Stacey, one to three. That's going to be good for five, maybe. We've got fours of Motorsport three, which I don't think is worth a lot. Um, nothing there. But I think that'll be okay. That might be all right. We've got the good wife. Mm. I've also not seen this before. Southland, season three and four, probably not. Um, suits, the shield's only one, two, three, so we'll leave that. Mm. What's this one? Collector's gift set of snipers. I don't think that's worth anything. Um, that's cool. Mm. That's only $8. Canberra Raiders. It's a size small. Men. Oh no, it's a size eight. Is that a female? Would that be female then? I reckon. There's this as well, which is quite good. It's only small, but the brand is great. Burton. Mm. It's like a kid's medium. I think we'll leave it. Just being a kid's size. Yeah. I think this is complete. Yeah, the final. And that's only $10. It's good. We've actually recently sold this as well for $60. So we'll go again for 60 on that. The Good Wife. I'm actually watching that at the moment, Kate and I. Really? Season one, we're 20 episodes in, and the episodes are 45 minute longs. Oh my god. So there are so many shows to watch. Shit. All right. So Minecraft, I'm going to take that without looking. Are you sure? No, because. You just did that. I just did that, and it didn't work. Always do your comp research, guys. Literally. I mean, there are sales upwards of $30. Mm. And 25. Listen. I think we can list it for 25. Yeah. So Gavin and Stacey is one, two, and three plus Christmas, which is what we've got. Mm. But it only sells for 25. Mm. Mm. So they want four dollars. Small satchel. Small satchel. Would you do four? The best the best comps are thirty and twenty eight ninety five, and then there's a lot of twenty fives. Four and a 25 with a small satchel. And a lot of sell through? There is 27 results and 233 listed. No. It's a good call, Corny. <laughs> it's why we got you out here, to make sense of these situations. Yeah. One, two, and three. So that's 60, 25, and. 30, so that's 55 plus 60, that's 115, and then we should get about 35 for that, mm. so that's $150. Mm. And we're paying in here for all of this, 18, 23, 28, so 28 into 150. This would be, well, this would be one to comp up, the brand is Shark. Now Shark does really well, there it is there. It's a size extra large as well, so that's good too. 
It's like a um, motorbike. Motorbike jacket. There's that logo, which I've, I've seen it before, but I just don't know. I think 20 is actually pretty cheap. Shark leathers. Shark leathers in the pants. Oh, there we go. I don't know what motorbike jacket that is, though. Mm. That's coming up in the motorcycle jacket keyword. Mm. So if I just go shark leathers. See how temperamental this title thing is? Mm. So it's like there's one pair of jeans. I thought this was a great brand. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have ever done shark leathers before. I thought it was good, but apparently it's not. Now guys, yesterday I went out and did some more thrifting and I actually had a massive haul come through in just the one day. A big, bigger haul than what you've seen out of this video and I've made it as a members video. Um, so these are just exclusive to those that have joined as channel members. Um, the link is in the description for it. It's five bucks a month. You can cancel at any time. But I'm actually going to place a bit more of a focus on it over the next few months and start to get more members related content out to you guys. Uh, so we're going to kick it off with this one that I've just launched today. The members are watching it right now. And if you want to join, the link is in the description below. All right, now this store here, Momentum Collective, this one has a lot of electronics. We've been able to buy electronics that have gone on to sell for hundreds of dollars and they usually price them up for like 20 or 30 a piece. Not every single time you go in though, they have these books available, oh, sorry, these electronics available. Um, so we really kind of need it to be in here for today. So it's the DMR HWT 260, but it's got its manual. It's got its, all of its cables. So we'll look at that. And we'll also, this is 20. A JVC. There's a model number on that that we can check. Hey, this is pretty cool. Hmm. TIAC cassette recorder. $30, PC15, let's check this first. Nothing popping up. Mm. What about this big guy? Is that like a, no remote on it? Mm. Heavy? It's not wildly heavy. It's the STR DE497P. 53 parts only. So I reckon this is the one. That's the GM though, we don't have the GN. I don't know what that means. Refurbished. There it is. Hmm. But as you can see, there's 18 results and there's 13 listed. Hmm. So there's more sales. But here, it says 70 there. Hmm. Is that how much I sell on it for? Yeah. I thought it was 20. No. 70. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, maybe the e-profit calculator might have to come into it. What do we say, 20? Uh, item 70. Yeah. Item cost 70. So we spend 70, we <laughs> make 35. You don't reckon? No. Do you reckon? Only because the sell-through rate's great. Oh, okay. Like, it'll come back pretty well. Yeah. And I know that these guys test in here. Yeah. Um, and that's the worst price. So if we went 160 or 170, yeah. that'd make it up to a fifty dollar profit. Yeah. Spend seventy, make fifty, it would be better. So that would be listing it for 170. If we list it for 170, we'll make fifty. Mm. I'm gonna do it. Mm. What are you doing in this situation? What? You just saw that play out. The viewers didn't. Yeah. What do you reckon? That was really great for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, they both were like, so it showed the tag. Yeah. Matt originally thought that was 20, but I was like, I think that says $70. We just took it up to pay for it. Obviously willing to pay whatever they say, but then the girl's like, no, that can't be $70. And then the other one's like, no, it's 10. So then we just pay 10. 
We also didn't question the price. No, we just put it down. She looked at it at the, at the uh, register and she was like, how much is that? And we were like, well, <laughs> I don't know. you tell us. Yeah. And then uh, somebody else came over, a second person. And the second person said, there's no way that could be $70. So she goes, it must be 10. 10 into, what was it again? Well, 150. Yeah. So we've paid a $10 note to get our hands on this. And we just basically kept our mouth shut the whole time. I was like, <laughs> we were like, okay. <laughs> um, I don't think that's bad. No, because she went, did you hear her? She went back to, um, I think it was like the manager. And she was like, yeah, no, it looks like 70. He said 10. So three of them now. Oh, they all said that? Yeah. Oh, well then. I mean, if you ask me, that looks like 70. <laughs> looks like a seven. <laughs> and then just leave it as a sold price of 149, because I think we'll list it up for that low end sale price. Mm -hmm. 149. 149, shipping 20, item 10. How much do you reckon? I didn't, I, no I didn't. It was too dark down there, trust me I didn't. I would say maybe 70, 80. 95. 95? Yeah. So we just made $95 profit. Ultimately, we put $60 into our pocket because they were questioning the, the price. Well, three of them confirmed 10. Three of them confirmed 10, but you and I would both say 70. Yeah, that's, I feel like it's a seven, but some people do ones like that though, that's the thing. Well, that is an absolute steal. So that brings us up to a total of $400. 400 bucks, and we only need 100 more to go. And we've got another two stores, is it, down this street? Yeah. Two more stores, and we need to find a hundred dollars. Oh, I don't do hats, but that is bloody brilliant. Oh wow! Premiership hat. Sick. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh. Ooh. Yes. And I'm seeing some definitely some TV shows. Yes. Might I might ask. First. Yeah. I reckon it's probably worth asking first. Apparently they're a dollar. A disc. Well, you just said a dollar a DVD. Oh. So I think based on that we'll um We'll pull out a few. All right, so we've got this. Felicity, looking at about 30. Home fires as well. What was that, 25? Yeah. And then we've got, what's this one? I'm gonna check that. That's every single episode of Seinfeld. First is Seinfeld. Seinfeld one to nine. And then we're gonna go with these on clouds, size 11 and a half. 40 for something. Is it? Yeah. That's come down. 35, 40, 40. Well, at a dollar each, it'll be nine. Nine into 35. Isn't it half pressed or not? Or no? Don't know. We'll soon find out. I think we do it though, because it's complete. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the hat for 30. So unfortunately, even though I went and asked and it was the same bloke at the checkout, he said when I brought the DVDs down that were TV shows that they were a dollar a disc. Would have been nice if he said that when we were uh, spent all that time picking. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we ended up getting the OnCloud uh, running shoes and I got this hat as well. That'll be going up pretty, pretty soon. So what's that? 400 plus the shoes are going to be worth about 50 and then the hat's worth about 30. So we got to 480. Just shy. I think we're done though, hey? Like, yeah. 20 bucks off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, I couldn't leave it there. $480, the YouTuber in me just really needs to complete this challenge. So I'm here at a Vinny's store right now. I'm going to do one more store. I'm going to try and find at least 20 bucks. I think we've got to do that. Really? Yeah. It's the women's cricket. Oh no, this is um, soccer. So there it is, definitely well worth it. I reckon this one here should go for about 65, maybe $70. The Matilda in the soccer, it's a pretty sought after item, I think, and being brand new with tags as well. Good one to end the run. We've still got those guys out there fixing the road. 
all the waterworks taking place out there. I think it's going to be pretty quiet yeah. for this what's sold segment, so we'll leave that up. Um, first of all, here's a quick rundown of the haul. I've got some numbers on all of this, guys. So we've spent a total of $97. We've got 10 listings. These 10 listings work out to $545 worth of value, so it's been able to get us a day's worth of listings. We went to get all of this stock, we went to 11 different thrift stores for 10 items. So we're not even averaging one item out of every store. Could we have spent more time sifting through and digging and learning new categories? Absolutely. Um, but we're on a bit of a bread and butter run, sticking with the categories that we know and love. And that is literally everything that you can see here. Electronics, books, DVDs, video games, clothing. So it is stuff that is filling this room and it's just more of it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a tough one out there to only find 10 items. We spent three hours, three hours, 11 thrift stores, a lot of commuting around. Um, but we have found a day's worth of listings. So it's not the most efficient, ideal way to source your items. I think if you really want to grow and scale an eBay business, you need to have some form of connection to be able to buy bulk. Uh, because what we just did then, if you were to do that every single day to try and find $500 worth of stock, you would just burn out instantly. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't take you very long. The thrill of the, the hunt would just slow up pretty damn quickly. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the last little one that we found there because that's going to go for about $65. Uh, that Matilda's jersey, brand new with tags, that's absolutely epic. Um, the whiteboard here, it's looking not too bad for the month of September. So we're on $6,115. Um, we've done our today's listings of $495. That's gone up already. So Courtney's going to list all of this up now for tomorrow. Um, but we do have a number of sales to come through, um, or, or shipments, I should say, for the post. Um, we're going to do that this afternoon before Courtney finishes up today. We've also got to announce... The big update, Courtney. Are you ready for that? Because that's going to be a big moment for you. I know. Uh, it has to happen today. It does. We need to talk about it today. So that's yeah. going to be coming up as well, guys. Um, let's do it. Let's get into the what's sold. First one is a single PS4 video game. Definitely a bread and butter. This one was only $22.50. Jurassic World Evolution. Um, don't remember where we got this from. But that, yeah, we'll go into an envelope for 6 Yeah, six fifty. Bread and butter. Bread and butter, nothing more to it. I'll tell you what though, considering there's not a lot of games on this shelf, we keep running across and picking off games that have sold, right? Yeah. Um, huge category, guys. Please make sure that you're having a look at it if you're a beginner. Yeah. Little box set winner here as well. Um, nothing to this one. It was just a $23.95 sale price on Alien Quadrilogy. Probably about the seventh or eighth time we've sold this one. Um, has been a consistent seller for us. Um, yeah, bubble wrap, butcher's paper, sorry, no butcher's paper, just a small satchel with this one. Um, won't make a ton of money, but we bought it only last week. Um, didn't pay a lot of money for it either. I think we got a big DVD haul for $30 that day, and this was in there. So I'm going to account for this to be no more than about 3 or $4. Um, we were able to turn it into 24 bucks. So we might make ourselves about 8 or $9 profit uh, after fees, postage, and cost of goods. All right, next one is some more DVDs in plain sight, season, oh, what is this, three, four, and five. Um, Matt got this one in a hoarder house purchase that he did two weeks ago, so we've had a fair few sell from that purchase, so that's been a very good turnaround. We've got a $30 sale price for these, so $1.50 into $30 in a small satchel for $8. Very good. You guys might have seen this, I believe, in today's video, because I think I might have edited it into the video to show you guys. Um, we've also had it sell. I bought this in a thrift store on Monday. Um, so this is the New Zealand Warriors, the 25th season. I probably don't need to speak too much of it because I literally would have spoken about it in the voiceover. Yeah. Um, but yeah, size extra large, it turned around for $30 today. Um, so a 48 hour turnaround on this one. I always try and buy sports gear. I talk about it a lot. You've seen it today, the Canberra Raiders jumper, uh, the Matildas jersey. These are items that I think are gonna sell really quickly. Um, because examples like this show uh, that they do turn around really fast. They're no big wallet builders. They're not going to fill up your bank account, um, but they are going to keep your eBay store ticking over. So a really good bread and butter win here. I only paid $8 in a thrift store, and we turned it around in 48 hours for 30 bucks. So another sports clothing. These ones we actually brought with the Alien Quadrilogy that Matt just talked about earlier. It's so only a week ago, so we've got a lot of stuff selling very fast at the moment. Um, these are the Sydney Roosters NRL Large 
trackies, are these? No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we purchased them, I think, for like $7, and we got a $30 sale price, so... Five bucks. Five dollars and a $30 into a small satchel. Another good sporting... I think a good sporting item that's sold in a really quick space of time, right? Like yeah. That was only a week. New Zealand Warriors are selling in the space of two days. So um, it only adds to the reason why we've been buying these items today, guys. They do sell really well. Now, I said it in the members video recently that out of all of these, PS2 and PS4 are our best selling categories when it comes to video games. Um, I didn't speak about this though, the Nintendo Switch. Arguably one of the tougher console games to find, the Nintendo Switch, certainly for us here in Australia anyway. Um, but this was the last one that I had left over because this Animal Crossing uh, is just a case only. So out of the Nintendo Switch games, I got probably 20 or 30 of them off Selwyn uh, in a video game buyout not too long ago. I spent about $1,300 odd with Selwyn. Um, he collects and sells video games. And this is the last of the Nintendo Switch games that I was able to get off him. I think I only paid about $3 on average. Uh, and this, this one here, House Flipper, on the Nintendo Switch is sold for $35. Um, so that's epic. $35, bucks, it finalises all of those sales, which would have averaged about $30 or $40 each. And we're going to put them into another medium envelope and send it off for a $6.50 shipment. So some really good profit in that one. This allotment here, I actually only listed this morning. Um, so these sold within a few hours. These ones were purchased in a member video that Matt just announced um, for 50 cents each. So we paid $10 for 21 The Treehouse books and we got a $60 sale price. I listed it for 65 this morning, but as we were out, a $60 best offer came through and Matt took it. So a couple of hours turned around, we put that into a box, 50 cents purchase. That's really good. Books are like $3. Like, well, we, cheap. we saw it today. Yeah. I was blown away, guys. That members video is a good one to watch. We've got mm. a lot of good items, and there's one that has already gone on to sell. One thing that I'm going to start to do a whole lot more of is focus on the book category, because this is all we've got for books. It's just one bookshelf. We've got an entire garage worth of stuff here, yet we're only selling out of that bookshelf for this category, and they are turning over really, really well, and also really fast, and for great money. I've got this uh, copy of Lord of the Rings here. Um, so this was actually bought by a viewer of the channel. Um, I haven't put it into the video because it's a members video item. So this was actually only in yesterday's purchase. I put it up as soon as I got uh, home and then a, a member of the channel or a viewer of the channel has jumped on uh, and bought this. So a $50 sale price for this book set, Lord of the Rings. Um, it's a 19.99 edition. Um, there were some good comps on eBay around about that $60 price point. So we got a best offer acceptance there for $50 from that viewer of the audience. Uh, of the channel, so that's an awesome one that we'll put into a, maybe a small satchel, do you reckon, or maybe a box? No, probably a box. Probably a box, just yeah. to protect it. It's, yeah. it's a little bit older too, vintage 1999, but yeah. I just want to buy more box sets. Um, didn't find too many about in the thrift today, no. but um, this one's turned around in no more than 24 hours. Really, really good sale. All right, so another book set, Harry Potter. We've done this one multiple times and we always look for it when we're out in the thrift. This is the complete one to seven of the books. But a thing to mention with this, you can probably tell, but they're actually different series. There's three different series, but the complete seven books. So you're not going to get as much as if you had the complete one to seven of this series or that series. Um, obviously, as well, the condition of your books, just like any category, really. But condition is really important. Um, we got a $70 sale price for those though. Um, if it was really good condition and one series, you could probably get over a hundred easy, but yeah, all that considering we still got a decent sale price and yeah. So these ones are the old original pieces like artwork covers, right? Yeah. These are the more modern day. So that's the more modern day cover. That's they are, again. they are originals and these over here are the you can see by the way the see how harry potter says there so it's like we got a, that's what cordy was talking about we've got three originals <laughs> and then we've got four that make up so we can still sell it like that though that's the thing is that is important you can still sell that it's a complete set yeah it's just that a true harry potter collector out there yeah might pass on something like this definitely uh, because of the artwork isn't a match yeah um, so that's just one thing to pay attention to. We just lowered the price ever so slightly due to the fact that it wasn't a complete artwork set. But still got it. Still got the sale though. 
You'll notice in this video today, and probably in the last few what sold videos that we've done, we have not really come to this set of shells very often, have we? No. Haven't been selling a lot of shoes, and I actually swept through the store and I did a bulk, you can go on eBay, you can do a big bulk reprice of a certain category. So I went ahead and I repriced every single shoe in my store $10 less. Um, it hasn't worked. Even a drop in $10 has not seen any additional sales come through. I'm on the teetering edge, Corny, which I haven't spoken to you about, about getting rid of the shoe category. Completely. Mm. No way. Yeah. You should just do a really good shoe sale. And I think you'll still look to do shoes, but... Maybe, I don't know. I'm just not... High-end shoes aren't selling. Crappy mm. shoes aren't selling. Like, yeah. you look at the volume of what we turn over. Like, we've only just bought books and the books sell. Uh, you know, DVDs, we, video games. We've got these on clouds that'll hopefully do well. But again, they are worn. Like, I don't know. It's just... I'm just looking at the numbers and I'm looking at the lack of sales in this category. How are you guys going with shoe sales out there? Let us know because I'm very, very tempted to get rid of all of this and then fill it up with DVDs, books, video games, the stuff that you're actually seeing turn over in our What's Sold videos. Um, here's another, another example of a category, obviously the DVDs that are doing really well for us. Um, leverage. We've got every single episode of the TV show Leverage here. Love the fact that the complete series set is only five seasons because that goes into a small satchel, as we know. Uh, believe it or not, we got a $70 sale price for mm -hmm. these five seasons worth of pre-owned TV shows. Um, so look out for Leverage if you can find it. But like you saw today when we were out thrifting, don't buy season two or season three. Let them go. Uh, just try and buy the big bulk sets, uh, box sets when you see them. Video games, again. We got a one buyer buy four individual Xbox original games for $20 a piece. So this is a $79.95 sale price shipped in a small satchel. Um, on that note though, we only have one original Xbox video game left. Which one? I feel like we, um, Tony Hawk's Underground. Who wants it? I, why didn't he buy that one? I don't it's know, it's the last one we've got. Somebody clean that out. I'll give it to you for $15. I don't know what it's worth, but you can have it for 15 if anyone wants it. Um, but yeah, that was a good... We love a um, person buying a bundle on the on the site, and then we can just ship it with one shipping cost, so... This was the best one. So it's actually... Two copies. Found yesterday. Old school versions of Lord of the Rings. Um, both listed up at 2 o'clock yesterday. It's now 2 o'clock today. That one was listed up this morning. Oh, you listed that this morning? Yeah. Wow. So sourced at 2 o'clock yesterday, listed at 9 o'clock today, yeah. sold at 12 o'clock today. Yeah. It was up for three hours. Um, Courtney hasn't even pulled the tag off. $10. Oh, <laughs> one side. $10 is what it sold for. Uh, $10 is what it was bought for yesterday. Um, what did we sell it for? We sold it for 70 but we're sending it off to America. And we got $28 worth of... Um, international postage. So a $98 sale price and a three hour sell through rate. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we'll put that into a relatively small box. It will cost 28 obviously to send off. It was done by calculated shipping. Um, so that's a ripping sale in three hours. Yeah. 10 into 100. Yeah. Um, we'll make a good 60 odd dollars profit off that. So, good. so guys, there it is. Um, look, books are a real big winner for us today. And to be honest with you, a lot of it came out of yesterday's members video. So like I said, I'll, I'll keep saying it. Go and check it out because it was a really good video. Plenty more to come. Um, DVDs, video games, clothing, and books. That is what this room is mainly made up of, apart from the shoes, which we're going to do something about. And you can see here that based on the way that we're sourcing, we're trying to source those same sort of categories. Um, clothing is pretty minimal for us, but I'm, I'm saying yes to the sports clothing, as you can see there. Um, I've got a lot of denim in here as well, which isn't a massive mover. Um, so potentially going to drop out of the, the, the denim gear. And I almost want to say no to shoes moving forward and only say yes to sports clothing. And I think like that's um, an important note is that like your store can be like forever changing and like yeah. back and forth. Like you've already doubled in denim before and then clothes and then we got rid of it. But I think that is forever what eBay will be like and items. Well, you've got to really pay attention to your numbers. Yeah. You can't just kind of go, I've done shoes. That's kind of my issue with my shoes. Yeah. I kind of said to myself, well, you've done shoes for four years. They've sold for four years. 
But then really over the last six to nine months, they yeah. haven't been selling. Doesn't matter, yeah. So I can't stay in that old mindset of going, oh, shoes so well on eBay, yeah. when I'm not seeing the results coming through. So we've got to, you've got to do, I think Courtney raises a really good point there. You've got to constantly look at your numbers and adapt to what you're seeing come through. And expand. And expand on new categories as well. Like those cords that we were looking at, we didn't yeah. buy any today, but I want to start to pay more attention to those because I think the sell-through rate can be good for a few of them. Um, so yeah, try and look for different categories. Don't just rely on the same sort of stuff. And if you do have categories that are doing well, on the other hand, triple down on those because they're doing well for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's always trial and error. That's what all of this is about. This is what we're going to do, guys. If you join as a member in today's video, uh, we're going to give this to one of you guys that joins. So Need for Speed, it's a PC game, brand new and sealed. Um, I think I might have even put it in today's video because it came out of the New Zealand training top that we found that's already gone on to sell. The numbers around this, I've got it on eBay for $100. I've just pulled it off eBay. There's 40 views and four watches at $100 worth of a purchase price. So no doubt that would sell eventually. Um, but for the next week, anybody that joins up as a new channel member, one of you guys will be in the drawer and I'll send that out to you for free. And hopefully that can mean when you go on to sell it, a free year's worth of channel membership, which I think would be pretty cool because uh, I've got good plans to send out a bunch of content for the members. All right, now this is the moment that I reckon people are going to be scrubbing the camera. They would have scrubbed the, uh, the, the YouTube video to this very moment. You've made it to the right place. <laughs> this is the announcement part. This is where Courtney's got some words to say, a bit of an update. I'll let Courtney have a bit of a chat. It feels like... Formal. Dun, dun, dun. It is dun, dun, dun. It's I big. Know. It's massive. It is big. <clears throat> where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> you can begin wherever you like. Um, so I have spoken to Matt about a week and a half, two weeks ago now, um, that I have been offered a full-time opportunity uh, work-wise. So I've obviously been doing two jobs um, ever since I started with Matt and the eBay business, which has been amazing and I've loved it um, every moment. But yeah, I've been approached for a full-time opportunity, one job, um, and yeah, so I told Matt two weeks ago that I'll be finishing up. But next Monday. Next Monday, so two weeks notice. Um, very sad, very weird that no longer will be here. <laughs> strange. It's strange to think. Yeah. It's been but a year and nine months all up. So much. It feels like so much has happened too. Mm. Like, well, it has. Yeah. The meetup talking on this because I don't like talking on camera. You do, like, you do a great job talking on camera. Courtney gets so nervous when we go to the, even still today, like, even literally today, editing videos um, and trying yeah. to get clips. She's been nervous yeah. to jump on, but you always kill it whenever you jump on. Yeah. Um, no, look, it's, um, yeah, a bit, been about a week and a half since Courtney told me. Um, she gave two weeks notice, which comes up this Monday. And, um, yeah, a full-time job opportunity. It's hard for me to kind of give a rebuttal of hey all right I'll give you more money or I'll give you more pay like another employer would with somebody that's a great worker for you that's what you would do you would just try and keep them around but my hands were tied I like I can't offer any further paycheck I can't offer any additional hours to the part-time casual sort of stuff that it is right now mm. um, so I, I can't really blame Courtney for wanting to take a full-time job and have the security of that um, so as much as I am super super sad to see her go um, it makes sense. Mm. And I knew that this day, if I couldn't progress what we were doing um, quick enough, then I was going to lose the opportunity to be able to have Courtney stay around for longer. Yeah. Um, Doesn't mean in the future I might pop in no, here and yeah. there for things. We have said that. Busy yeah. periods. Um, yeah. You know, Black Friday is coming up. It's going to be a four day sales period where I'm going to get a lot of stock and need to list a lot of stock, sell a lot of stock over that period. Ship it, yeah. um, so we've even spoken about that on the on the odd occasion coming in for a shift here or there. Mm. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do moving forward from this moment. It was more today to let you guys in on the fact that Courtney is obviously going to be leaving. Um, no doubt there's a lot of people out there watching this now that are going to be super sad. Some may never mm. even watch the channel again. You've no. had that much of an effect, potentially. Definitely not. Yeah, there'll probably be comments right now saying, right, that's it, I'm done, see you later. No more Aussie Flipper channel. No, don't do that. Um, we, yeah, please stay around and keep watching. Um, but... James, I'm, I've got a YouTube channel now, don't <laughs> you? If you did, you would get subscribers. I don't. You would get people watching you, for sure. You, sh you should think about that. No, no, no. Um, but what we're going to do from here... Um, 
as much as I haven't made any plans about what we do moving forward, Monday coming up, the next upload on this channel will be Courtney's farewell video. Um, but we wanted to put this video out today just to let you guys know that that's going to be coming up. So it'd be great if you could all be there for the last video that Courtney's going to appear on. Um, I've been doing this now for a little over four years and Courtney's been around for a year and nine months. So she's, what, 40, 45% of the time that I've been doing this, mm. I've had Courtney here helping me. So um, that Monday video will be a big one. Uh, it's going to be a big loss to see her go, but I'm pretty excited for the opportunity that you've got ahead. And uh, yeah, we'll, 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 still, <laughs> we'll still be in contact. We'll still be in touch and you'll still see Courtney at some point down the line in videos. Yeah. Uh, it just won't be every week. Uh, so big update guys. Um, it's left me thinking, how do I approach the business from here on in? I don't know. There's a lot to sift through. There's a lot to think about. And uh, I'm gonna do that over the next few weeks. I don't think there's a super big rush I'm going to man the, uh, the fort for at least the next few weeks until I work out what to do next, but I am going to update you guys uh, down the line on what that update will look like. Um, I've just got to figure it out first. Leave this one uh, with you right here, guys. This was a big thrift video um, from a couple of weeks ago, uh, a long one. I'm trying to put out long videos. Hopefully, you're enjoying the long videos like today. Um, but yeah, Courtney, second last video. Super, super sad. Mm. We'll see you soon, guys.